Hi everybody, it's Bill from Eccentric. It's the end of the week and we're just kind of wrapping up here at the shop. So we thought we'd give you a quick run around the shop in five, six, seven or eight minutes or whatever it is. Um, our next Super Snake package is sitting here right now with all the bits and pieces for, uh, we've got a black convertible coming in next week. It's already here at the shop waiting to get its uh, place to get going on that. Uh, over here to the left, we've got our 70 Mustang doing a little bit of suspension work on that, some power steering, <coughs> excuse me, power brakes and rack. Uh, over here, we've got our first GT supercharged a Shelby that we're doing. And it's kind of unique in that we're uh, not doing the Whipple supercharger big package on it. We're doing the lower horsepower, 700 plus horsepower conversion. So this has already been fired up. It's been tuned. Sounds really good. It's a Ford Performance. Ford Performance supercharger. And uh, most of the pieces that go on the Super Snake go on here with a lot of exceptions on horsepower and, and the uh, big suspension stuff. So it's a really nice package to put together. So this one's come along very well. We're getting close now. I know Austin has just finished doing all the brakes on it. Kind of unique if you have a look over here. While these are not the right wheels, uh, we still have to put our Shelby wheels on there. You can see the Brembo brakes in behind in the Ferrari yellow tone for this car. We're also, which will be different for this one, we're gonna put uh, a different set of valve covers over top to kind of hide a lot of this stuff, and it'll be painted the Ford Grabber Blue. So that one's moving along pretty well. This is, uh, as we're starting to see now, we're getting a lot of Mustangs in here, we're getting a lot of Shelbys in here for customers that have had them for a little while and want us to redo them or maintain them. This is a, th <coughs> excuse me, a thousand horse horsepower, <coughs> excuse me, ate a bug. A uh, thousand horsepower Shelby that was done a few years ago and uh, the customers asked us to go through it. it hasn't had a chance with no mod shop for the last few years available to them asked us to go through do nut and bolt check and then do some upgrades to it so this is a beautiful car tons of horsepower performs exceptionally well but he just wants some updates done on it so that's working away the 55 Chevy has now got some new boots on it, and they look gorgeous. Uh, this is really changing the way things go. Shut up, whatever. I didn't say shut up, I, I meant be quiet. Anyways, uh, it's looking really good, so Chris is just setting the um, stance, the ride height on it. He's gonna adjust the coilovers to get the right kind of look and stance to the car. But uh, this looks really good. So this one's getting closer to going home now. Most of the mechanicals, now that we have the new wheels and tires, uh, a little bit of exhaust work over the back, uh, a bit more interior and trunk work, and set the motor, tune it up, and that one should be ready to go. The 58 Chevy, we had it pretty close to completion, found that we had a bad rad right from the supplier, and a bad water pump, so both are back in here now, just waiting on a lower rad hose. This one is, is really starting to look very pretty as the car goes. If you just look down that car, the new Corker tires are on it with the big wide whites. Um, we've got the uh, additional wheel for the back that goes on, so we're just getting that all put together. It has fender skirts that go on the sides, so that'll look pretty cool. Oh yeah, the uh, extra package there will be uh, pretty unique. But the whole car looks really nice. We've actually got some space here for a change. We've got some construction going on to kind of keep up on top of things, but some space here. We'll walk through the back. We're getting a lot of takeoff parts for Mustang, so if anybody's got any need for 2019 Mustang takeoff parts, let us know. Jeff's working away on the 53 Buick. All the windows are in now and actioning. And uh, a lot of the wiring's finished up now, Jeff. Yeah. Everything's coming together really well. Uh, yeah, once this goes into paint, this thing is uh, yeah. there. So this one's getting ready for paint probably in the next week or two now. Um, all the chrome's done, but it's off now. Just getting ready for paint. Our Superformance Cobra, which is for sale if anybody's interested. Uh, we're just looking at changing over the ignition system. So we've been back and forth with Roush. This has got a 427 IR, so it's got the eight stack on it. Um, beautiful motor, but it's it's got a, an ignition system from Excel that's a few years old, and we think we've got some problems with that. So working back and forth with the people at Roush who are really good, uh, trying to figure out what we can do as far as a quick solution for that. 68 charger we figured out our problems with the shifting and this is um, something that anybody who's done this major transformation where we put in a late model Hemi and the adjacent motor and all the 
gauge package that goes with it out of the uh, SRTs runs into the same problem. They won't shift properly. So we've, we've figured out uh, with the aid of a, a, a gentleman that's done extensive work on the NAG transmission on how to make that all work. We sent the package in. We should see that early next week. And that should solve the issues with, char with uh, shifting on this one. So this car is almost done and ready to go. As soon as we get that, then we can do the last little bit. Do the uh, front end alignment, do the AC charge, finish the tailpipes on it, um, and she's pretty well there. Again, car for sale, beautiful car. Let us know if you're interested. Uh, the bike is in for, as you can see right here, it's got a custom paint job right from Harley. But unfortunately, uh, at some point, gas got underneath the, the uh, paint job. So they've sent it to us uh, from Thunder Road to try and see if we can fix this, match all the custom Harley stuff. Big job, it's gonna be here for a little while. It's gonna be uh, a fair bit of work to get all this working together. Go this way. Okay, let's go in first. Okay, we've been cleaning up the body shop. Integrated We've sent home the 66 Barracuda. It's the sons to get you ready for. There we Sorry. go. We've sent home the 66 Barracuda. Jeremy's gonna work on that a little bit over the winter time and bring that back to us in the spring. We've sent home the 72 Mach 1. Uh, I think Joe is extremely happy and family is extremely happy on that one. So he's gonna take a tinker with it a bit for the winter time as well. And then plans on bringing that back for completion next year. We've got uh, the 66 Charger, which at this point, J Sean has done a, a huge amount of metal work on it. And now it's at a stage where we're getting into the custom metal work next. So all the basic body work has been done, metal work has been done, floor work has been done. And we're gonna get into doing some custom stuff down the side and in the back windows and, and so on. But we'll leave that to go. Uh, this is Super Snake number three wide body. Um, all the mechanics are done. Front end's on. Front fenders are on. We're just bringing it back here to the body shop now to start doing the cut. You can see the difference. With the wide body on the front, it covers up the tires nice. These are the original fenders with a 345 tire. So what we're going to do, Chris is going to cut this out. And we have our wide body kit that goes on here, which extends the body out another three and a half to four inches to give us full coverage over the back. This is one that we're all excited about because it's it's a really beautiful blue and it's going to have the white stripe on it. So we're all excited to see how this one's going to turn out. So without getting anything else, um, we've got a couple other cars that we're just doing some finished polishing on so we can't even get into them. We've got the red 87 is in being painted. Uh, that's about it for this week. Hope you enjoy. We'll talk to you next week.